Sunday. Um, how did last yesterday go? I was freaking starving again. Starving all probably from like 10 o'clock on. I took a rest day and that just made it more like difficult because I didn't like have anything to really keep me busy. I got a massage in the morning and then, you know, just did stuff around the house, organized stuff, got ready for my Girl Scout meeting, painted my nails. They're so cute. Well, not painted. I used the gel strips um, on my toenails and on my fingernails. Um, got a hold of Derek. We need to go, we needed to go to Home Depot or Lowe's. So I asked him. Do you want to just grab dinner while we're out? I said, oh, we can have leftovers. So he was like, I'm going to be stuck at work late. It sucked because usually on Saturday, so I'm a few hours early. Not terribly early, but a few hours early. So um, he didn't get home till almost 5 I was freaking starving. I wanted to try this Italian restaurant that I've been wanting to try. But then I was just to the point where I'm like, I don't even want to go do that. <laughs> I don't know. PMS is kicking my ass. Or it's cycle time or whatever. I don't know. But it's brutal right now. So I ended up having something before we left the house. Uh, I had like just a snack. So Omada and a snack. Um, I had a little bit, I have leftover white chicken chili and a piece of naan bread and a couple of M&M's. So then I, we went out to, we went to Home Depot, didn't get what we needed. So now we got to go to Cabela's or something. We're looking for a safe. It's nothing that he liked there, but anywho. Um, we ended up going to what is usually my favorite restaurant and lately I haven't been really happy with it and it was okay yesterday. It was very fresh and like tasted well, good, but just not as good as it usually is. So I had a tuna, I had two pieces of Italian bread with butter, two seltzers, um, a tuna poke bowl, which Derek ate more than half of it. And I had a tuna dinner, which I ate every single bite. Almost. I ate all the vegetables, all the mashed potatoes, um, and almost all the tuna. And then I really wanted dessert, but they don't have my favorite dessert right now. And the tuna poke is usually a lot better. Um, like prepared. It was more like a tuna poke salad. Usually it's like tartare, tuna tartare with a bunch of like chili and seaweed and barley and I love it. Well, they're, that's not how they've been preparing it lately. It's more like a tuna poke salad, real fresh, refreshing for the summer. But I think, I think they'll go back to their old version because uh, they always use what's in season. So we'll give it another go like in a month or two. Um... Then we got home and I remembered I had bought those like mini ice creams. They're like kind of like a mini um, drumstick. They're only 140 calories a piece. I was like, well, that's what my dessert will be. So I got had two of them and then I finished the bag of M&Ms. So I was like fucking miserable full again. Two nights in a row, miserable full. Just the hunger this week has been atrocious um, I am happy to say I lost weight though I thought for sure I was gonna be way up but I was up peeing a lot um, I did drink a ton of water at dinner um, so I'm glad I was down like 0.8 or something very happy with that hoping that PMS is turning a corner here and I'm going to be able to control my hunger a little bit better. I started the consistency challenge that um, 
OMAD Caroline is developing and I'll share uh, what my goals are but one of the main goals is to continue doing the OMAD she's doing a seven week challenge continue doing the OMAD um, and narrow my window down a lot more you know um, and we have plans the next two Saturdays to go out to dinner so I need to stay on point I need to lose at least, I want to lose at least two pounds a week. Come on. I'm headed to yoga. Whoo, doggy. I tried hard today. It was hot. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Um, Mantra was cool today. She said that she, she's not a golfer, but she learned something today. What she learned, I can't see around this fucker. Um... Oh, are lots of people turning. Um. Wow, is that? Um, she learned that when golf balls first were introduced, like the game of golf was first introduced, that the golf ball was um, smooth. And the golfers noticed as they were golfing and the ball got beat up from all their hits that um, it would go further. And she said, that's how we should look at life. Like, like um, you know, as we bang up our golf balls. Oh, these stupid assholes. Ugh, annoying. Um... Ugh. Oh. Cocksucker. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so, she said we should look at life. Like, we're always trying to find the path of least resistance. Always trying to make it a smooth transition. But really, we should get banged up in our lives. Because we will go further. Isn't that so the truth? You know, the harder the road, the, you know, the greater the reward. Good one. I wanted something sweet, so I had only one of the little mini ice cream cones. 
but then some M&Ms and then some Twizzlers. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna let myself have to, like dessert, dessert. Um, if I wanna have a built Bar, I'm gonna s stick to that. I didn't plug in my calories, I don't know, but I know I was under because I was fucking starving all day. And after yoga, I was down two and a half pounds. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so great because I just been maintaining all weekend. But I got up this morning and I was the same way. Annoying. Um, Jen is texting me. Yeah, so I was the same weight that I was Saturday morning when I woke up. My goal is uh, now I'm trying to at least be down two pounds a week. You know, that's what I'm hoping. I wanted to do five, but it's not looking like that. I need to reduce it to a true just one meal in a, like a short window. Um, but my my consistency challenge is a OMAD with a two hour max window. Um, to do my exercise program, I have um, always, you know, I only have one rest day, so that should be easy to meet. A hundred ounces of water every day and to always have a date night once a week. Now it doesn't mean we have to go out, but just spend some time connecting with Derek once a week. Um, five things. Oh man, exercise, date night, water. There was something. Oh, to make sure I hit the 10,000 steps every day. Because that is something when I, when I do yoga, I tend not to hit my step count because I'm not running. So those are my five things I'm going to try to always do. Um, yesterday went really well. I was hungry, but I just pushed and pushed. And then I did go to the bathroom finally a little bit better this morning. So hopefully now, I, I think my PMS is done. So this would be cycle time for me. I think I'm going to do better eating-wise. Let's hope.
had to ask Derek to help me out and I always feel like he's resentful whenever he has to do that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know how I'm gonna do Tuesday yogas. Today is Tuesday. Maddie and I both start our class at the same time. And I feel guilty for dropping her off early. <laughs> so I don't know. And then Derek's just been giving me a hard time all, like all, all last night and today. So he's like, he's got his period and he's taking it out on me. His work is super stressful and he's just taking it out on me. Yesterday we got, when I got home with the kids after I picked them up from the bus, the dogs were sitting on the front porch. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? The gate in the back was, um, I guess I didn't close it all the way, I didn't hitch it. And they got out and we're just chilling, sitting on the porch. I'm like, oh my God, how bad could this have been? They did good as far as I can tell. I looked at the cameras and um, they were out there for about an hour. I, didn't ha I don't have one facing the front of the house or fr the front yard. I should. I should get one. Um, I will, I think, eventually put one out there. But thank God, right? Thank you so much for nothing happening. And then this morning they went out without their collars because that's I usually let them out in the first thing. And a person walked by with their dog and they didn't even, they just stayed there right in where they were supposed to stay. I was pretty impressed pretty happy with my puppies. All right. I think what I'm going to do um, at the end of the month is I'll put all 30 days up like daily. <laughs> like I, you know, we'll see. I don't know because I don't want the videos to be way too long. I hope I get to go to yoga. I gained like two pounds overnight so I know that's not legit but I did do very badly for the first day of our challenge to just fucking go off a deep end what's wrong with me like I do good and then uh, I'm human I guess tomorrow is my like weekly weigh-in and that's really where I kind of gauge my weight loss um my hope is to be 166 I think that's the hope because that's two pounds from last week's weigh-in. It's been going very slow, and I'm not loving it. I was doing much better in week one, um, but I do think I had some PMS, and I still think it's it's my cycle time because my back is still screaming. I just gotta get through this week. I feel, you know, and hopefully I can get my shit together. Tonight will be a much better dinner. I am. I plan to walk at lunch. I've been icing my knee and that feels better. So, we shall see. Went to yoga, guys. Uh, hot tonight. It's hard. Way more strength than cardio today. Um, what was the mantra? Mantra was to never, well, she said, at first she said she wasn't going to have anything. That was like, that was, what the fuck? People are just crossing in the middle of the road. People are stopping. Um, I thought the meters were done Sunday and apparently Oh, another week of meters. Annoying. Anyway, she said that she wasn't going to have a mantra. She just thought, like, that would be the mantra that she doesn't, you know, she, there's nothing that she needs to talk about. That in that moment, she just, you know, is appreciating that nothing is going on in her life that she needs to vent about. And then she said her daughter called and her two year old got sick for the first time. And she realized, like, we should just be grateful in that moment of no chaos, no things, you know, I don't know how that really feels because that is very rare for me not to have something happening and going on. So, I don't know. 
I couldn't really, it's hard for me to relate, but I can relate to not when I'm not injured. So like when running, every part of me feels good. It's not a hip, it's not a knee, it's not a shoulder. I do want to try not to take those moments for granted because <laughs> I'm old and they're rare between that I don't feel aches and pains somewhere. I'm grateful right now that my knee doesn't hurt and I didn't hurt it at all during yoga, which makes me feel good. And it's 6.45 and I have to go to the bank and Derek's working late, so I'm gonna have to get my daughter at eight o'clock. So, late night eating. I should just skip it, but I don't know. I might just have a, a snack today. I might actually do OSAD. <laughs> Let's see. Most of my leftovers are gone. 
So that's good. Um, tonight I'm going to, it's called Big Chill. It is a bar, I believe, bar restaurant that has a big pavilion. And it's right on the ocean. They're doing a big yoke class and then open bar for an hour. So I might have two crushes. Or I think that's what they, that's, I think that's what's open bar. It's orange crushes. So I might have a drink or two. And I was thinking of having a salad tonight with chicken on top of it. My problem with that is I usually go buy the chicken at lunch and then I want to eat some of it. So that won't be hard to do. But yeah. As for my weekly weigh-in, not very happy. I'm just going to keep trying.
it just proves to me that I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat one meal, whatever I want, 1,800 calories, even though all the math makes sense. It's just not how my body, you know, maybe eventually it'll all wash out, like, but my body reacts a certain way to certain foods and just holds on to inflammation and water. And even though I'm not eating 7,000 calories to gain two pounds, shows up on the scale that way. So it sucks. Uh, the same mantra from my Sunday class, and it was the same flow as my Sunday class. It was about the golf balls and dimples. Just reminding you to get scarred up in life because that makes you who you are and it makes you go further. So true. that maybe you don't want to be in whatever it's not you're not gonna give yourself a full opportunity to see where you really should be at because you're too busy living in that hurt and I I need to do that I need to let my shit go so I can take in new just the broth but it's very delicious 
encumbered. What else? I had one uh, low carb street tortilla with some cheese spread on it and some little club crackers with my chili. I was very, very happy and content and good. did great with my fast. I was very busy. Went to yoga. Um, did my headstand. I'm going to try to do it at home and tape it and see if I can and I'll put it up there for you guys. Um, yeah. Very successful. I was happy. I was down on one other pound. So, I think I might be at a new low for the month. I'll have to look. I, I do feel better than I did the first two weeks with uh, PMS and then my cycle. So, hopefully that's all it was and I'm going to, you know, start, you know, really shedding the weight. I'm going to try to stay away from red meat um, until Derek and I are going out on a date next Saturday. Um, we are going out this Saturday, but um, I feel confident that I can, you know, just fast until my going out and still lose weight. That's what I'm hopeful. Today I'm going to run my 5K and I'm going to yoga five times this week, so I need to. I'm supposed to go out with a girlfriend, but I might not. We'll see. But feeling good. I read a bunch of reviews. So I wanted to go with my friend Katie and she's like, I won't go there. And I was like, why won't you go there? Cause I've been wanting to try it. it looks so, it does look a little uppity, but looks very good. And she said that she knew some people that left reviews on open table or Yelp or something. And the owner just attacked them. You should have, oh my God, some of the reviews are just, I can't believe an owner of an establishment would attack people, customers, you know? And I mean, they weren't terrible. They weren't like, oh, the food's just awful or anything. It's, um, it was like, you know, there was lots of flies outside trying to get a table inside. Um, very expensive or nothing terrible. Um, except the ones that said like the lady was rude to them and she just would just be terrible. So I'm a little nervous because Derek doesn't tolerate much shit. Um, and we may get kicked out. <laughs> they required me to put my credit card down and they said that you have a five minute grace period and they give you a time limit on the table and if you cancel within 24 hours, you're charged $25 per person. <laughs> or if you are a no-show. I'm like, oh my God. 
he's like, it better be good for all this. I'm just like, I'm afraid. So I wanted the, my friends to come early so we could get down there early and be parked and everything. <laughs> I'm already having anxiety about it. Um, and Diesel ate my favorite flip flop this morning. But I feel good. Last night um, I had three street tortillas. So they're small. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 100 calories. Um, with some chicken on. Two of them I put chicken on and then I made cracked chicken and dumped it over one. And um, it's Instapot cracked chicken. It's very good, very easy. It's like cream cheese and ranch and cheese and bacon and chicken all in the Instapot. It comes out so good and it's, I don't know. I like to put it over steamed broccoli. It's like perfect a good keto dish. Um, I had a very small portion of that. I wanted to keep eating it, but I was full. So I was like, mm, you should stop eating. You know, um, you're doing so good. You ate a little earlier. Nope. Then I kept it open a little bit and had a Tootsie Pop, which, yeah, it's like 90 calories, whatever, but you know, just keeping eating a little something. And then I had Rice Krispie Treat, another 90 calories. Then I had a Bilt Bar, 150 calories. So those, those things I could have not. And I was so excited because I was down from the morning and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have a great loss. And I ended up, you know, having just a couple ounces and I could have had a massive loss if I just would have kept it to the two tortillas and not had the cracked chicken. And I was on the fence about making it, so. Ugh, whatever. I'm happy though. I'm finally seeing, you know, steady losses and that's all that really matters. You know, I'm just gonna keep sticking with it for the month and see where I end up. Um, I may go back to my bag old food when I am for October. That's what I might try because I really would be happy eating something very small, like a couple hundred calories for breakfast a couple hundred calories, maybe up to 500 for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. And I'm seeing more and more that that probably would work for me if I, you know, don't ever splurge. And that's the problem, you splurge and then gain six pounds over a weekend. So um, I think until I get to my goal, and we'll see, we'll see where I end up at the end of the month. I'm doing really well right now. And I hope I just, because of that first week, PMS and then my cycle. I'm hoping that now I'll just see downward trajectory um, for the rest of the month. You know, if, it's, if it levels out or jumps back up, then I don't know about this whole man for me. And I also think it's a big difference when you have 80 pounds to lose, hundreds of pounds to lose versus 20 pounds to lose, you know? I think it's a big difference. That last 20 pounds is fucking brutal. I'm just mad at myself that I got down to 149 this year and I got myself back up. I was 165 this morning, 165.6 or something like that. So I'm headed to yoga. Um, then the store, I'll get back on here and let you know what my uh, mantra was. What the fuckery? <laughs> oh my God. Today was so difficult. It's the owner, she's so tough. <sighs> it was brutal. I did try a side crow. I have never done that. And that was kind of exciting. I kept trying my headstand. There's actually less people than normal in a Saturday class. I think the end of season is um, coming and I'm gonna have more space in class, which is so nice. And I can see down the road versus not be able to see down the road. Come on, come on, come on. Um, her mantra was, the worst word in the English language is should. You should be somewhere, you should do something, you should, someone should do this for you, this shouldn't have happened to you, 
everything is supposed to happen for a reason. No, everything, <laughs> everything happens because that's what was supposed to happen, which is a hard pill to swallow, that's for sure. Just accepting that, um, you know, this is how it's supposed to be. Oh, people, people should pay attention. Um, yeah, so nothing should should be a certain way. It's the way it's supposed to be. <sighs> it was an unbelievably hard today, guys. I was just steady dripping. Steady dripping. I got a new shirt. I really like it, too. I've been wanting it. It's a tank top. So the Soul Fire, that's the name of the place. This girl was in my class and she's riding her bike. That's the bat. That's what I want to look like, all muscles. 